Hey, what's up, all my stashes, and welcome back to another WoW video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Riddler's Mind Worm. Also, we're going to be going over the legendaries that you can craft. Also, to some herb farming that I think that is all right, but it's not the best in the world, but it gives you a chance to get a new spot. Now, that's it, guys. Let's get right into it. Hold up. Alright, I'm Stashin, so welcome back, and I'm Zoo. Apologize for not having a video out in a couple of days, but I've been really sick, and then my internet went down when I was gonna put up a video. I do apologize for that. Now, that said, let's get right into it. So, first off, there will be a code word in this video. Also, too, as well, the last week's winner will be given away tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Also, too, this this little mount that you're gonna get, actually, it's not really a little mount, it's a serpent mount. It's called a Riddler Mind Worm, okay? This Riddler Mind Worm is actually pretty cool, and everybody's gonna have it, okay? It's not gonna go nowhere, it's not a time thing. But I will say that if you don't click on the pages within the same week, it actually will reset for the next week. So that means that you would have to do it all over again. Now, let's get right into it. So first off, to find the first page, you're actually going to want to go to the lounge in Dalaran, the new Dalaran, okay? You're going to want to actually go to a bookshelf and click on that. Now, after that, you're actually going to want to head on over to Twilight Grove. And once you get to Twilight Grove, you're going to actually uh, look at a little puddle. It's actually not a little puddle, it's a fountain. And you're going to click on a page right next to the fountain. And this is actually a Duskwood. So if you're Alliance, you're really close to it. If you're Horde, I do apologize. Now, after that, you're actually going to want to go to Firelands. Now, Firelands, any mode, it doesn't matter. If you're actually one Tim, if you're doing this quest, that means you can actually just one-shot everything here. Now, kill all the bosses here, and then after that, you're going to actually go to um, the last boss. And once you get the last boss, you're actually going to go to the side of him, which is probably the right, if I, um, I'm not mistaken. And once you're to the right, you're actually going to see the little paper and take that paper. You don't even have to fight him if you don't want to. You can actually just go um, on the side of him and actually get him. Now that said, guys, after that, you're actually going to want to go to the Lost City of Talver. And once you get to the Lost City of Talver, you're going to want to head down to the um, the downside of the map. And once you actually get to the um, downside of the map, you're actually going to um, click on buy a tree and the page is going to be there. It's not really hard to find other than the fact that some people might um, stand here. And you're going to see what I mean later on. Now that said, after you get done with that, you're actually going to head towards Siege of Ogmar. You might want to group up for this because if you group up with this, it's actually way easier. But if not... It, you could do it by yourself. Just do the um, the lowest you can do. And just DPS everything. Destroy everything. And once you get actually to the Shaw, uh, Shaw of Pride room, you're actually going to go there and you're going to kill him. You don't even have to kill him, to be honest with you. And you can actually go behind where the chest actually comes out. Once the chest comes out, you're going to want to go to the left. And it's going to be in the corner. Now, after that, you're actually going to want to head on to the Well of Eternity, which you're going to... Etern Eternity? Is that how you say it? <laughs> Anyways, it's in the Caverns of Time. So you're going to actually head towards there. And once you actually get there, you're gonna actually going to um, just do the whole scenario up to the last boss. And it's going to be right next to the well. It's a little bit hard to find, but you can actually just find it on the side. Just skid the road aside and you'll actually find it. Now, all these places can get to places with portals. Like, for instance, okay, the Well of Eternity, the Caverns of Time, Siege of Ogmar, all that stuff and everything. You can actually use portals. I should have actually put a little video there showing you how to get there for each one of them. Now, if I didn't do that, I do apologize. Now, <laughs> this next one, and I'm being honest to you, this next one got me so mad, and I think everybody was mad, because the Horde are trolls, and I don't know why it's mostly the Horde who does it. You know, I would have more respect to actually play a Horde player if, to be honest to you, if there wasn't so much trolls. I know Alliance does it too, but still, if all I see is this Horde troll, and no offense to your Horde players, y'all are awesome. But anyways, let's get right back into it. So, as you can see here, there's tons of people, and to be honest to you, Without a potion of invisibility, you won't be able to do this if they're going to keep trolling like this. Now, the thing is, is that if you get a draconic uh, potion of invisibility, you can actually see it. And you're going to be all right. But if you don't, you're just going to have to wait until everybody just leaves. But to be honest with you, I don't think they're going to leave for a while. And the reason why I say that is because this is a trolling spot. I mean, the other spots can't really troll that much, but this one you can. Now, that said, guys, let's get to the next place. And the next place is going to go back. You're going to actually go back to Uldum. I think that's how you say it. I do apologize. And you're actually going to go to a statue. About the same area, but not really a down to down. It's going to be in the middle of the map, all the way to the actually right. You're going to see a big foot. <laughs> go to the big foot and clip on the, the little paper that's actually there next to the big foot. Now, after you get that done, you're actually going to head back with Alliance. You can just like, teleport to Stormwind. If you haven't set your horse stone there, I suggest you do it. But if you, if you um, have, that's great. Just take it. But if not, just take a portal to get there or whatever. Go to, basically, you're actually going to go all the way up to, I forgot this zone name. Oh, Westfall. I do apologize for that. You're gonna actually going to go to Westfall. And once you get to Westfall, you're actually going to um, uh, go on the coast of Westfall. 
which is actually going to be on your uh, your left side of the west wall, which you're going to see the maps. And when I say left, right, you, you can just tell by what it is. But anyways, you're going to the left side, and you're actually going to go on the coast, and you're going to see the box. Is the box going to be glowing, which I wish they were doing it with all the, uh, the papers. But, hey, it was supposed to be hard to find, and basically it's easy now. And it took a while for the community to get it, but it was actually the Discord community that got it, and that's awesome, guys. I thank you for this, guys. It's a really cool mount. I think it looks really cool with uh, locks and um, DKs and so forth. But that's it, guys. Um, if Just do this, and you'll get your mount. And like I said, please do it within a week before the um, actually before the reset, because you're going to have to do it all over again. Now that's it, guys. Let's move on to the next subject, the gold making. So basically, we're going to be talking about um, legendaries first, okay? And it's going to be real quick. Now, these are crafting legendaries we're talking about. Now... The thing is, whenever a, a certain building is up, it's actually going to allow you to actually do a quest to get, you know, legendary um, no, regiments and so forth to actually sell them. Now, I don't know if you can do it over and over again. I don't know if this is going to happen again with the video, uh, the, the not the video, but the, the uh, building's back up. Hopefully it is because they can make some more. But to be honest with you, the prices are going to go way lower. Now, the cloth, for instance, that's the only one I have basically um, experience with is not going for that much, okay? Now, there's people who's putting it up to 500k, and that's great for them, but they're never going to sell. The reason why I say that is because the cloth one is not that good. It's alright for starter people, but it's not good for raiding or anything like that. The stats are alright, but if you actually gym it, it might be alright. But anyways, let's get back to the whole subject. Now, the thing is, is that, is it worth it fully? Is it worth it to take your time, get the nether shards, get everything you need to actually do this? I think, yeah. I think if you have the time to do it, you're going to be able to get this real quick. Bloods are easy to get, very easy to get. I've shown you a way to get bloods, uh, herbalism, so forth and everything. Now, personally, I'm going to be doing it, okay? I don't know about y'all. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these crafting legendaries. I mean, does it just a waste of time? Do you think that you can make more gold off it? I don't know. I just see prices going down to like 70 to 60k by the time it comes back up. Now, that's it, guys. Let's get into the next subject. And the next subject is going to be herbalism. Now, herbalism is something that I've been doing for a while, and I enjoy it now, okay? I wasn't even doing videos on this, but to be honest with you, herbalism has been very profitable for me, and I think that doing the right spots and doing, um, you know, the finding new spots is just amazing. Now, the thing is, I don't go with a crowd. If you know my channel, I don't go for the crowd. And if you think this is just ranting, this is not really ranting. This is something to get y'all to know what I'm coming from and talking about when I talk about farming, okay? Now, first off, green light is the code word. Now, that said, guys... We are actually going to get um, right back. And I don't even know if I said that twice. If I said it twice, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, yes, herbalism is a very profitable thing. Now, Starlight Rose is something that everybody goes after. And the prices are going to basically drop pretty soon. Everything's going to drop pretty soon because of flying. I already got flying. I think a lot of people got flying, but I don't know for sure. Let me know in the comments below if you got flying. Kudos to you if you do. Sorry if you don't. Now, let's get right back into it again for the third time. I found a spot which is right next to a Broken Shore flight point when you first get into Broken Shore. It's a little island, and this little island has, like, uh, harpies on it whenever it's not World Quest. And this actually drops these things right here. And I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. I'm not going to massacre it. But anyways, it drops this. Now, I'm not going to tell you how much I got. I'm not going to tell you how much, uh, you know, the total I got in an hour. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I was going slow. I didn't have flying. I didn't have what's called. I kept fighting people and all stuff. So flying makes a total difference, and I really want to do this spot in an hour. Now, without flying and everything, I did get it 400, okay? I really did. I got 400 of the of the flowers, and I got about 200 of the seeds, if not a little less. I don't know for sure, but it was a pretty good um, a pretty good haul, I think. But I don't know. I see these videos, people saying, oh, well, there, I got 1,200 an hour or 15,000 an hour. I'm like, what? How do you do that? And then they go with something else like, hey, you do this with the bloods and this and that. It's just not prof. That's not the way it works, okay? And a lot of y'all are just wanting to actually find spots to farm. And this video is more of a discussion of farming than anything else because, to be honest to you, um, I didn't have time to do a lot of spots this, this past week. I was really sick, as I said in the beginning of the video. But anyways, this is the spot I said uh, I, I chose to do and show you because I think it's really, uh, really, you know, a good spot, but not the best spot, okay? There's probably other spots that are way better than this. And to be honest with you, you can probably do a lot better with flying now. Now, that said too, I want to actually push into it too as well. If you're starving for rep and you want that flying, do the chest. I've told you this so many times already. And I, I'm not saying that y'all said anything. I'm just saying that basically, if you actually go get all the chest around the broken, uh, broken shore, you're going to get a lot of those, basically a lot of war supplies. And it actually adds up. Now, the thing is, if you didn't know, they actually respawn. A lot of people don't know that. They think that one time they get chest, boom, that's it. No, 
If you do a whole circle around the whole broken shore, and then you go inward, then you come back to the start where you did the, uh, the basically the whole circle, you're going to be fine. You're actually going to be respawned. Or if you just actually um, basically servo hop, sometimes they respawn. I don't know for sure. I can't confirm they respawn all the time when you servo hop, but I can confirm that they actually respawn. I've done this many of times. That's how I got revered real quick. I think it's revered. Yeah, I got it revered. But anyways, that's it, guys. That's all I got right now. I, I have actually went through a lot uh, this week. And I think that you're, um, there's a lot of videos that I actually want to put out this week. Starting Thursday, we're going to be doing uh, old dungeons. And we're going to be doing other things. So, basically, if you want to enjoy that, let me know in the comments below. If you actually want to hit that bell button. If you like me talking like this instead of actually going crazy or, you know, just basically like, well, if you do this dungeon. I mean, let me know in the comments below, guys. I, I really enjoy just talking and actually letting y'all know about information. Like always, guys, if you don't know what's coming up next, you better hit that bell button. Because if you don't, you would never know what I actually put out on YouTube. But that said, guys, like always, stay sexy.